Hey, what's happening, Dave Nation? It's Simon back again for another edition of the Lick of the Week. Now, today we are going to get loud. We're going to get heavy with some Megadeth. And Symphony of Destruction got a request for this one. Um, it's off of the uh, Countdown to Extinction album. Great song. Uh, probably one of their most well-known songs. Uh, not really that difficult to play, although it is uh, it is rather fast song, so you're going to want to get your, uh, your picking hand uh, warmed up because uh, there's lots of uh, palm muting and some chugging going on, uh, and you don't want your, uh, your picking hand to seize up because then you're just going to be standing there looking like complete ass. So don't want to do that. So get that picking hand nice and warmed up, nice and loose. Uh, so you can uh, chug away at this one. And like I said, this week's edition of the Lick of the Week is Megadeth and Symphony of Destruction. <laughs> Too much power turns the lights off up in this place. I guess uh, we need to start paying our hydro bill just a little bit more. Let's see if we can get some light going on. And yeah, there we go. So, uh, like I said, not really that difficult of a song to play. And uh, it's going to start in uh, on an F power chord. So that's the first fret of the uh, low E string and the third fret of the A string. And then going to go to an E, which is uh, open E string. And then you're going to put uh, a finger on the 2nd fret of the A string and a finger on the 2nd fret of the D string. So that's pretty much it. And then for the left, doot, 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 it's uh, 1, 3, and 1 on E. And back on that uh, that E chord. So one three one on low E, and then uh, to the uh, pre-chorus, you're gonna go on. Uh, so it's essentially the same position as um, as an E chord. So open uh, two and two on A and D. You're just gonna slide up to uh, D, and you're just gonna walk it down. Keep those fingers on uh, the A and D string, so you're going to go 7 and 7 on A and D, and then 6 and 6 on A and D, and then 5 and 5 on A and D. Well, you're kind of chugging on that open E string. And then uh, when you're doing that, there's this little... So that is, is just a little little hammer on uh, on the D string on 5 and 7. So keep your finger planted on 5 and then just hammer on the 7th fret of the D string. And then back into that little walk down riff. And then there's one more walking down part before it gets to the uh, chorus, and that is uh, the fifth string on uh, the A. And then you're gonna walk all the way down on the on the low E string from six all the way up to one. So it's five on A, and then six walking six all the way through five four three two ending on one. And then open open E. And now for the chorus part. That 
that part there uh, that was supposed to be a seven, but I'll get to that part later. Um, so you're gonna start on uh, power chord again. On uh, this time it'll be on A and D. So on uh, seven and nine, and you can hit the open E too. So essentially it's an E chord, but in power chord formation. And then you're just going to uh, keep your finger planted on the 7th fret of the A string, and you're just going to walk down. You know, there's lots of walking in this, uh, in this song. So, uh, you know, you got, uh, you're got you starting on 9 on the, the D string. And then you just go to 8 on D. 7 on D. And then 6 on D. All while keeping your finger planted on 7 on A. And this part it's six, seven, seven on uh, A and E. And then you're gonna slide up to uh, C chord in power chord formation, which is uh, three on A and uh, five on D. And then you're gonna go uh, instead of with five, you're gonna go up to uh, four on D. Still keeping your finger planted on three on A. And you're gonna slide up to a D, which uh, which is uh, five on A and seven on D. And then this part, the other little walking down part. You're gonna go five four on D, and then five on A. So it's five four on D to five on A, and then you're gonna end on seven on E. back into the so really it's not that difficult to play um, if that you know if you can just understand um, where to go next uh, just get the fingering down uh, listen to the song obviously a couple times it's tuned to standard tuning so you don't have to do any kind of funny tunings um, get yourself lots of distortion because um, you know that's what Megadeth is all about good old American metal thrash in your face so uh there it is symphony of destruction hopefully that helped out um like i said it's not a difficult song to play but if you just you know slow it down um get the uh the timing down right uh you'll be able to whip that one out in in no time and then uh i don't know attempt a solo i've never really attempted that thing because like i said i can't do all that fancy sweepy crap uh, i got stubby ass fingers so it doesn't really work out for me so i just kind of stick to the rhythm stuff so uh there you go lick of the week in the bag again keep coming back every single uh well today it's sunday um i was off yesterday so um it's today but uh every saturday come back and check it out on the data fm facebook lick of the week simon peace out enjoy your weekend <laughs>